The Three Little Pigs Once upon a time, there was a mother pig who had three little pigs. The three little pigs grew so big that their mother said to them, Oh, you are too big to live here any longer. Why, you must go out and build houses for yourself. Oh, but little piggies, do take care that the wolf does not catch you. The three little pigs set off. We will take care that the wolf does not catch us, they said. Soon they met a man who was carrying some straw. Please, sir, will you give me some straw? Asked the first little pig. I want to build a house for myself. Yes, yes, said the man. And he gave the first little pig some straw. Then the first little pig built himself a house of straw. Oh, he was so pleased with his house. He said, now the wolf won't catch me and he won't eat me. I shall build a stronger house than yours, said the second little pig. I shall build a stronger house than yours, said the third little pig. The second little pig and the third little pig went on along the road. Soon they met a man who was carrying some sticks. Please, sir, will you give me some sticks? Asked the second little pig. I want to build a house for myself. Oh, why, yes, I'll give you some sticks, said the man. And he gave the second little pig some sticks. Then the second little pig built himself a house of sticks. It was stronger than the house of straw. The second little pig was very pleased with his house. He said, hmm, now the wolf won't catch me and eat me. I shall build a house stronger than yours, said the third little pig. The third little pig walked on along the road all by himself. Soon he met a man carrying some bricks. Please, sir, will you give me some bricks? I'd like to build a house for myself. Oh, yes, I'll give you some bricks, said the man. And he gave the third little pig some bricks. Then the third little pig built himself a house of bricks. It took him a long time to build it, for it was a very strong house. The third little pig was very pleased with his house. He said, hmm, now the wolf won't catch me and eat me. I built a strong house of bricks. The next day, the wolf came along the road. He came to the house of straw which the first little pig had built. When the first little pig saw the wolf coming, he ran inside his house and shut the door. The wolf knocked on the door. He said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. Oh, no, no, I'll not, I'll not let you come in, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Very well, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in said the wolf. So he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed and the house of straw fell down and the first little piggy ran as fast as he could to the second little piggy's house and he said, brother, let me in. The next day, the wolf walked further along the road he came to the house of sticks, which the second little pig had built. When the second little pig saw the wolf coming, he ran inside his house and shut the door. The wolf knocked again on the door. Little pig, little pig, let me in. Oh, no, no, said the little pig. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. I'll not let you come in. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. So he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed and the house of sticks fell down and the little piggy ran as fast as he could 
to the third little piggy's house and he said, Brother, let us in. The next day, the wolf walked further along the road. He came to the house of bricks, which the third little pig had built. When the third little pig saw the wolf coming, he ran inside his house and shut the door. The wolf knocked on the door. Little pig, little pig, let me in. Oh, no, no. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. I'll not let you in. Very well, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. So he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed and he blew, but the house of bricks did not fall down. Oh, the wolf was so angry. He pretended not to be. He thought, hmm, why this is a clever little pig. He's built a very strong house. If I want to catch him, I must pretend to be his friend. So the wolf said, little pig, if you will be ready at six o'clock in the morning, I will take you to Farmer Smith's field, and we shall find some nice turnips for dinner. Do you like turnips? Oh, yes, said the third little pig. I like them very well. Yes, yes. But the third little pig was a clever little pig. He knew that the wolf was just trying to trick him. So the next morning, the third little pig set off for Farmer Smith's field at five o'clock. He filled his basket with turnips, and then he hurried home before it was even six o'clock. At six o'clock, the wolf knocked on the little pig's door. Are you ready, little pig? He said. Oh, oh, why, I have already been to Farmer Smith's field. I filled my basket with turnips, and they are now cooking for my dinner. The wolf was so angry. But once again, he pretended not to be. Then the wolf said, uh, a little piggy, uh, if you will be ready at five o'clock in the morning, yes, yes, um, um, I will take you to Farmer Brown's apple tree, and we shall pick some red, juicy, delicious apples. Oh, very well, said the little pig. The next morning, the little pig set off at four o'clock. He found the apple tree while he was up in the tree picking apples when the wolf came along. The little pig was very frightened, but he pretended not to be. He said, oh, these are fine apples, Mr. Wolf. I'll throw one to you. He threw down an apple, but it rolled away down the road, and the wolf ran after it. And then the little pig jumped down from the tree, and he ran home as fast as he could. He ran in his house and quickly shut the door. The wolf was very angry. He was furious. But once again, he pretended not to be. He went to the little pig's house and knocked on the door. Uh, <clears throat> A little pig, if you will be ready at four o'clock this afternoon, I will take you to the fair. Do you like the fair, little piggy? Oh, they have rides and delicious things to eat. Uh, we'll have some fun on, on the merry-go-round and eat some treats. Very well, said the little pig. At two o'clock the little pig set off for the fair oh he had a great time riding the rides and eating delicious food and then he bought himself a butter churn it looked like a barrel as the little pig was going home he saw the wolf coming up the hill little pig was very frightened so he jumped inside his butter churn 
The butter churn began to roll over and over down the hill. It rolled faster and faster, and it knocked the wolf right off his feet. The wolf did not know what had knocked him down. He was so frightened that he ran home right away as quickly as he could. The little pig jumped out of the butter churn and carried it home. The next day, the wolf came and knocked on little pig's door. He said, little pig, I did not go to the fair yesterday. A great big thing came rolling down the hill and knocked me over. <laughs> said little pig, that was me inside my butter churn. When the wolf heard this, he was very, 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 very angry, furious. He was fuming with anger. He said, little pig, I am going to eat you up. I am going to have piggy pie for dinner tonight. He climbed up the roof and he got ready to come down the chimney. Little pig was very frightened, but he said nothing. Instead, he put a big pot of water on the fire to boil. The wolf got ready to come down the chimney. The little pig took the lid off the pot. The wolf came down the chimney and landed in the hot water and shoo, jumped right back up the chimney, ran down the roof, jumped back down onto the ground and ran away. And that was the end of the big bad wolf bothering the three little pigs. The third little pig was too clever for the big bad wolf. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Big bad wolf, big bad wolf. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? No, not me.